YouTube, what's going on with y'all, man? How y'all doing this evening or this morning or wherever you at, whatever time of day it is, hopefully you're doing well. We are back with another fragrance review and that's right, we're gonna be talking Jean Lo Ombre. There's a clone to Louis Vuitton, or Louis Vuitton, as I've been corrected so many times, Ombre Nomad, I believe. So we're gonna talk about that fragrance. It's definitely gonna be a review. Stay tuned, The Fragrance Show. with your boy new subscribers peace to y'all my return subscribers peace to y'all as well hopefully everybody is doing good is in good health and smelling good you know that's what this channel is all about man getting your money's worth your bang for your buck and smelling nice so on today's video like i said gene low ombre this one right here i did pick this bottle up off of triple traders going to link that down in the description for y'all i did have a chance to wear this fragrance although this fragrance is typically going to be definitely for cooler weather, but I did wear it, uh, you know, just to test it out, spray it around the house so I can give you all my accurate, excuse me, depiction of the fragrance. So, Jean Lo Ombre, like I said before, it is a clone or inspiration to Ombre Nomad. And the notes up in here, you have Oud Wood, Benzoin Tears, Incense, and Raspberry. So, me personally when it comes down this is a leather fragrance when it comes down to leather fragrances i tend to like the ones that infuse some kind of um fruitiness into it um you know more so of that mixture with like leather fruit gives typically like a a tuscan leather kind of fragrance um you know something with some kind of berries up in there and this one is set to have raspberry in it and um we're definitely going to see once i spray this but i ain't gonna lie the presentation on it kind of looks like the real thing i'm gonna put that up on the screen for y'all too presentation kind of looks like the real thing man so they do a good job with mimicking the style of the og fragrance this is 100 ml 3.4 ounce and on triple traders is going to run you around 39.99 so let me get a strip for y'all test the strip get this on the strip and we're going to talk about this fragrance right here spray it atomizer is pretty decent on this one guys I did pick up a fragrance from this Mason Alhambra house called Jean Lo, I believe Immortal. Really like that one as well. So, man, what you're gonna get from this is, leather, for sure. This is definitely a leather fragrance, no doubt about it, man. <laughs> Whoa, incense. Now, raspberry is listed here, but boy, I'm not picking up on it as much as I would in like a, like I said, a Tuscan leather fragrance by Tom Ford, or even the Toscano leather by Mesa Alhambra, the clone of that one. This one is more so for my folks that like ombre leather. Hence the name ombre. This is more the ombre leather kind of style, more with incense and wood, less fruity play with this one. Uh, this one is definitely for the mature fragrance collector for sure. And this one has definitely more of the vibes of old school leather. I'm thinking like bootstraps or like a horse saddle, like man, it's just, or like, like new car leather kind of smell going on. But yeah, this is this kind of leather kind of fragrance. More so on the ombre leather kind of style versus like the Tuscan leather kind of style. E, it's a little dusty a little bit. I do get that slight oud accord. It's not anomalic or nothing like that. This set that has benzoin tears. I'm not really familiar, familiar with that, but yeah, this is a nice fragrance for, you know, like I said, my folks that's really like leather connoisseurs, the ones that's, you know, really are fans. If you're not really a fan of uh, leather, you're not going to like this at all because um, it's really just the most dominant thing about it in incense. So wood, incense, leather, 
little oud, but yeah, this is giving me like new car smell vibes. Like, like I said, boot straps, anything leather, jackets, anything. But I'm not really picking up on the raspberry in this one. If, if this, I would say if this one came across with a little bit more of, a, of a, like a fruitiness to it, I think this would be more acceptable to a lot more people, but this is only gonna be cool for my, my leather. Like my folks that's really into leather fragrances. So seasons for me, definitely fall, winter, spring. If you're gonna go spring, please wear this at night. To me, this is a nighttime fragrance. It shouldn't be worn in the day. And everybody's not gonna like this one. So to me, this is not blind by worthy. Don't blind by this one like I did. I'm just giving y'all my words on it. If you know somebody that can give you a little uh, decan or something, however you wanna do it to try to smell this first before buying it, you might wanna do that. This is not gonna be mass appealing. But it's nice. It's a nice leather fragrance, what it's trying to do. Um, I have not smelled the OG, so I can't say it's a one-to-one -one comparison, but for what it's trying to do, for what it's trying to be, they nailed it. I, I will give them that. So you guys let me know down in the comments, uh, have you smelled Jean Lo Ombre? This is a very nice leather fragrance, but it's not gonna be for everybody. And it's definitely for the much more mature fragrance collector. Seasons fall winter spring nighttime fragrance for sure um to me the performance on that one was stellar i easily got eight hours on the skin and clothes and it is a heavy projecting fragrance and also it has good sillage as well that thing is in the air and it will light up your whole crib trust me so you might want to go easy on the sprays with this one too but yeah if you love leather fragrances whether it has any kind of fruity accord to it or not, or if you like Tom Ford's ombre leather, this is kind of like in the wheelhouse of that kind of leather style of fragrance. Real nice, doesn't smell synthetic or nothing like that. It smells very authentic and it's nice. I'm gonna I'm keep wearing it, you know? I'm gonna keep wearing it, but like I said, it's not for the masses. So I will say, um, as this starts to work through to the mid and to the dry down, you start to get a little raspberry, slightly raspberry in here, but I kind of got to sniff real hard to get it. But the raspberry note in here is definitely playing the background for sure. So thanks for watching another video with your boy. If you need more content, click on that video header up above. If you want to like and subscribe to the channel, you're going to do that as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Salute.